hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about linear tape open otherwise known as LTO. The system of uh, using tapes for storage there's no denying it, it is nowhere near as cool or as prevalent as it used to be with things like NAS and SAN being incredibly popular the, uh, the decrease of utilizing LTO and other tape media as primary storage has decreased rapidly but in its usability as cold and long-term storage is incalculable and it's become even cooler these days in terms of governments and GDPR and businesses having to hold on to data for a long length of time as well as encryption and legacy data getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So what are LTO? Well in the shape of it they are what they sound like. Uh, it is a tape of data using magnetic tape that is held in a coil inside a cartridge but it is more than that because of compression techniques and the relative inexpense of uh, the tapes themselves. Um, uh, LTO provides an enormous amount of capacity at a comparative lower threshold compared with hard drives and SSDs. Current uh, availability of LTO is around about LTO 7 with LTO 8 around the corner and with each revision there is a basis around this idea of compression and maximum write to tape. Now I'm going to glance at my notes I have to say but in terms of LTO 7 that's the latest generation around at the moment you can store between 6 and 15 terabytes of data per tape. Now that 6 to 15 terabytes is based on um, compression technique with data being written to with more advanced compression techniques being readily available from tape loaders meaning that that 15 terabytes of data once it's stored on there that's it, you've got it forever. And although some tapes are read-write, the majority of reliable tapes use a system called WORM. Write once, read many. And it gives you the idea of having legacy data and legacy cold storage data that will last decades more than traditional hard drives. And it's the same principle as optical media too. Now, with 15 terabyte tapes arriving at around 50 pounds, and that's, uh, again, 15 terabytes once compressed, if you look at a 16 terabyte drive these days arriving at four to 500 pounds, that is an incredible saving. So how can it afford to be so cheap using compressed tapes? Well, that's because LTO tapes, the cost of an LTO backup system is not in the tapes. It's in an LTO tape loader and the loaders do not come cheap. Whether it's a one bay loader, a four bay rack mount loader or an enormous injection system of multiple tapes what you end up with is a devices that can cost two five eight ten grand for a tape loader but the more you're going to use it and the more data you're going to store the cheaper overall it will be compared to things like NAS and SAN and traditional DAS storage. So on the face of it, it all sounds pretty good, with the only downer really being the cost of those LTO tapes. Is there any other downsides we should think about? Well, there's of course that business of worm and tapes, not, be, not all tapes being able to be reused. But on top of that, LTO tapes themselves have to be uniform. And although there is backwards compatibility, if you're going to write data across multiple disks at once, so if you're going to store hundreds or petabytes of data, all the LTOs you have to remain the same. So once you've got LTO tapes, if you're going to create a new backup using newer generation tapes, you can't mix it with the old. Now, LTO generations from one through to the latest seven or eight generation all grow in size. So if you're someone that's utilizing LTO 6, you're going to want to get your bang for buck out of that. With LTO 6 arriving at between 2.5 and 6.25 terabytes of data, there's still a lot of data there with those tapes currently retailing about 20, 30 quid a tape. But it's still not going to be great now that data sizes are getting bigger and bigger. And when you enter into the point of the LTO tape market as your cold backup, you've got to make sure that when you do that, you go for the latest generation. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a you're, you're not you are not going to get the future proofing that you expect from taping in terms of your archive backup. Now, if you are looking at backing up 5, 10, 20 terabytes of data, tape does not pay for itself. Once you exceed those numbers, you go into the 30s, the 40s, the 50 terabytes of data of legacy cold storage that is required either by law or by sincerity to hold in the long term. That's when tape enters the arena because then it becomes not only cost effective, but because of its longevity, it means it's reliable too. 
Now, on top of that, there are other kinds of tape media like RTX, which is a, an RTX, which are smaller forms of tape media. But the reason I'm focusing on LTOs for two main reasons. One, LTO tape loaders have been coming down in price. Um, another reason, integration between NAS and LTO tape loaders has started, with some NAS uh, brands like QNAP starting to work on systems where either tapes can be loaded into the individual hard drive bays, which again has not been completed yet, or you've got systems where they have the BR series, which has a 5.25 inch bay, which means you can introduce a tape loader into a QNAP NAS. And what that means is you've got your normal QNAP NAS of all your RAID available, and then you can back up to the tape in the tape loader. And then, because you're only getting a one bay tape loader, you can have a stack of five tapes, and then have this enormous cold storage legacy backup that you're gonna be able to hold on to decades to come. And if your data is that important, it's worth that small saving, because that's what data's about. And particularly with tapes, it's not about how much the data costs, it's about how much it costs if you lose it. Now, when it comes to the transfer speeds of LTO, with each generation, the speed of LTO has improved. With LTO 6 arriving at about 160 to 400 megabytes per second, and a whopping maximum of 700 megabytes per second in LTO 7, which is an enormous transmission speed, which is what you're going to need, particularly if you're dealing with 15 terabytes of backup data. Now, there are, as I say, encryption systems built into it that can be capitalized on with tape systems, as well as differential backups too but remember some tapes cannot be read or written to multiple times a lot of the time you can read the data from it but you can only write once and that's probably one of the biggest downfalls of the majority of LTO data not all of them because some of them don't have that problem but the majority of them do so make sure you double check all of the different specifications of your LTO setup before you assign the budget to that purchase but this has been what is lto here on the channel do click like if you've enjoyed this or learned a little thing today or click subscribe to learn more about data storage in general and i will see you guys on the next video